what people see. Like it I don't know. It is what people see. <laughs> I'm so ugly. I know. Look at all the ugly. <laughs> I <know>. No. <laughs> okay, go. No. No, you're doing good. Okay. I feel like this is an opening to a documentary. <laughs> It's so, my name is Tina. Tina. I can't do it. Hey, my name. <laughs> the reason you probably clicked this video is because of the title, not because of me. Don't give a fuck about me yet. <laughs> I used to be a Bieber fan, and I'm not talking a Bieber fan. I'm talking a New York City Bieber fan. And if you were one, no. you know exactly what I'm talking about. Like, you might be one of them watching and be like, okay, I remember Dana, because I was everywhere. If Justin Bieber stepped foot in New York, I was already there. Like, I was that fan. You're probably a fan of people like that right now, so. I totally relate. Um, I was a very involved stan. I ha I ran a Bieber fan account with 200,000 followers. Like, it's just... Epic right now that I'm sure you have seen 15 times on your story. Last week, probably I'm a little bit behind. It's like, oh my god, Justin Bieber is getting engaged. Like, as if you had a fucking chance. Like, let me know because I know I did it. And <laughs> bitch, I went to 55 shows. Justin Bieber got engaged too. Haley Baldwin, we all know this, this isn't news, that's not why you clicked this video. I don't even want to, I don't even know what to call it because it's so beyond iconic that there needs to be a new word invented for what Haley Baldwin has done. Yes, you could say she had a famous family, but she had the irrelevant Baldwin dad and I'm so sorry to have to say that, like, I don't know, like, sorry Stephen Baldwin fans, but there's none. Anyway, so, became her friend somehow, I tweeted her, and this is when the receipts are going to come up. 2013, there's just tons of tweets back and forth between us, so that means you, like, it's obvious that she was my friend, internet friend, whatever you want to call it, and, like, yeah, I mean, the facts are there, so, Haley Baldwin, Dana Rose, which is my Twitter, by the way, two E's, basically, we're going to talk about the fact that Haley Baldwin is me. I am Haley Baldwin. You are Haley Baldwin. We are all Haley Baldwin in this world. Haley Baldwin went from trying to bump into Justin Bieber at the Satai, the London, to marry. That is so iconic. Like, everyone's making a joke that it was her 10 year plan. Like, bitch fucking did it. She did that, and I don't even know how. Like, I want to know how I need to do that, okay? But, like, where's the tea? Where's the facts? Like, I'm going to show you. And says, it's something we were talking about with Harry Styles, blah, blah, blah. She said, 5-16-2012, I'm so confused, when does Justin's tour start? I said, we're all confused. When he said next week, I think he's releasing dates next week. And I'm almost 100% positive it will be a fall winter tour that will go into 2013. She said, right, that's what I thought. I was like, tour as in concerts? Haha, <laughs> I was so confused. Of course she's asking me, I'm one of his biggest fucking fans. So, she wanted to know, like, and we were friends, okay? which you could see between the millions of tweets between us. And the fact that she follows me on Twitter, which probably after this, maybe not. He made it sound like the tour starts next week, blah, 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 blah. She goes, cannot believe you just tweeted that about, oh wait, no. So then this is a whole other conversation we had about Austin Mahone, like, bitch, was a fan, bro. I don't even know what to tell you. We talked, within this one scroll, you've seen us talk about Harry Styles, Justin, and Austin Mahone. Here you're gonna see where I wrote Satai Fifth Ave. The, the DM that was right above that that she sent to me is gone because she unsent it right away. And if I went back to my MacBook from fucking 2013, maybe I could find that because above that, and you're gonna have to take my word for this one because I don't have it, but she said, what hotel is Justin staying at? Kylie and I want to know. Stop. I know you don't believe me and that's fine. You don't have to believe me. Nobody's forcing you to. But if you look up Satai Fifth Ave around February 2013, you will see that like he would he stays there. He stayed there a million and one times. So she said, "What the fuck, random ass ho hotel?" Cause like whatever. But I gave them that info because at the time Haley and Kylie were staying at the London. Justin had been known to stay at the London, but he was staying at the Satai. This all makes me sound like a psycho, but I was 15 years old and a Super Bieber fan. I'm 24 years old now. I don't even know if that math adds up. A Bieber super fan. We've all been there, but I lived in New York City and I had the resources to go see him. Okay, she said in this DM, you'll see who the fuck runs Bieber Team New York. And if you know anything about Stan Twitter, which I'm sure you do, currently it was just like that back then. There was tons of 
fan accounts, some bigger than others and whatnot. She said, she's so rude I can't even handle it. And then that was whatever, whatever. I don't know what that account did to her. Okay, so back then it was easier to fake Twitter DMs. I had tweeted a fake DM between me and Justin and she DM'd me and said, wait, are those DMs real? And I said, no, oh my God, I'm mocking someone who made fake DMs by just using an account with his picture and cropping it and everyone believed them. And she said, haha, what's gonna say? That's all of our DMs. But, I mean, the moral of the story is the one where she said, what the fuck, random ass hotel, and I had said to Ty for that. You could look it up. That's where he was staying. She wanted to know. She always used to talk to us about, because, like, this is just DMs. There had been text messages. There had been, like, video chats. There had been in-person conversations. She wanted to say, she knew she was recognizable by other people, Justin, or people on Justin's team or whatever. So she never would stand outside somebody's hotel. But we would give her that info because she would say she would either stay at that hotel or she would eat at that hotel or do whatever at that hotel so she could bump into him, okay? I could not make this shit up. If you look it up on Twitter, I'm sure there's other people who have come out and said the same thing that have also known her. But to find one tweet where it was like she literally was talking about how tall he was with <laughs> That's crazy. Like, I couldn't make this up. Do you think she's told him this? She said, no, more than 5'8", because I'm 5'7 and a half, and we're literally almost the exact same height. That's talking about Justin's height. This was in 2012. Remember when Justin and Selena and all of them made that Call Me Maybe video back in, like, the photo booth days? We remade the Call Me Maybe video. You could probably find it for yourself, but I'm not even, like, I'm in it, so, like, I don't even want it the whole thing out there but I will put the little clip of her YouTube she was in it she agreed to be in it for us she made a clip and met and we emailed it to us <laughs> to put in a YouTube video that we remade of Justin and Selena like what else do I have to say YouTube like the videos on YouTube it's not even like I have it stored away somewhere like bitch that shit's on YouTube with 2,000 views and nobody's ever seen it and it's Haley mouthing words to call me maybe just like Justin and Selena were like like, if you didn't care about someone and you were their friend, you wouldn't, like, be tweeting about them, asking me questions about their tour, trying to bump into them at hotels. Like, I don't know. The facts are there. Obviously, at the end of the day, it does not matter what I have to say, what facts I have, what you believe, what you don't believe, because Haley Baldwin is marrying Justin Bieber. You're sitting there watching this video. I'm sitting in my NoHo studio apartment talking about this video. And I think what we can all take away from this is... We, we stand Haley Baldwin. She did that. Do not give up. Like, that's inspirational. Like, that is inspiring. 2012, she asked me what Justin Bieber's hotel is. 2018, there's a ring on her finger. I can't even get a boy to hang out with me during the day. Maybe give me six years and I'll let you know where I'm at. But right now, I ain't looking up. <laughs> <laughs> if you already know me, then you'll know that I live in LA and there is so much I could talk about and I'm not I don't mean exposing people that's not something I will do like this is just Haley Baldwin and Justin Bieber like that's different that's like the biggest fucking thing right now in like that celebrity culture that's not like I'm not talking about people I know in real life but I have a lot of things I could talk about a lot of things I could rant about a lot of things I would love to do and share I don't know I just thought that this was like I was talking about it with my friend and he was like you know what you should make that into a video so here I am <laughs> I ain't mad I'm clapping if Haley Baldwin told me in 2012 watch me Dana I'm gonna marry Justin Bieber I'd be like let me know when it happens because I want to come to the wedding I mean honey he's getting married you got to move on like I don't know what to tell you like I'm inspired like, I inspired so much that I'm starting my own YouTube channel. So in six years, who knows? We don't know. That's the thing. That's the point. That's the moral of the story. You don't know. If you want it, if you believe it, you can do it. That is what I got from that story. Like, I woke up and I wasn't mad. I wasn't sad. I took that story and I said, I can do anything. I can do anything. If she did that, you can do anything. I have a lazy eye. <laughs> I don't know. I'm just going to start posting because I'm just, I have so much to say. <laughs> I'm Dana. My Instagram is, go let me know if I'm a catfish because I probably am. And like, I don't know. How are you a catfish? I just don't even, I, I gotta go. Again, if this video does well, I will see you again. If this video does not do well, you will never see this video again because it will be private and I will start all over again. <laughs>
I'm going to go and just know that you can do anything in life because Haley Baldwin did that. Like, and I will, I love you. No, I don't. Sorry. <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs>